day 153 in God's hot spot and you all are already leaping into this flame and you're leaping in like I'm glad to be here it is flip it Friday praise God Jemina my one and only daughter that I love so dearly Jemina McCarter Ballard you're in the flame girl you know I love you yes 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 April Holloway in the flame. Rochelle, Ro, Ro, what's up? In the flame. The one and only famous Mary Cooper is in the flame also. To God be the glory for you being in here, Mary. Emma Jones is in the flame. Emma, you notice I call your name, er, I call your name early this time, Emma. You're always so patient. But I see you. Ashley Young in the flame. Thank you for being in here and waiting. Flora in the flame. Karen, always on time, Wills in the flame. Why well, I want to keep calling you Willis, Karen? I'm going to get Dr. Wall to theorize my tongue and I can get that right. Okay. <laughs> Regina Shabazz is in the flame. Alice, Miracle Signs and Wonders in the flame. Jacqueline just come up in here and said, Flip it Friday. Let's jump right into it. Oh, you got that kind of attitude today, huh, Jackie? She's just put that in like flip it Friday. Let's jump right into it. Oh, that tell us how you're really feeling today. Amen. I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and bring the psychologist in here because I can't do this by myself today. I'm gonna go ahead and let the psychologist come in here and she's gonna have to get some of these names, this name calling we're doing up in here. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Do Dr. Wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're help. gonna flip it. Look, yeah. I'm here to help. I'm here to yeah. help. Jacqueline just jumped up here and said, flip it Friday. That's right. That, See, I had, to, I, I had to flip it. I had to flip look, it a little bit here. Look. Yeah, and look at that look. hat. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see you. I see you. Now, those colors kind of close to some colors that are dear to my heart, you know. That, yes, <laughs> I do. It's yes, I do. <laughs> it's, it's almost there. <laughs> Regina in the flame. Yes, they are in Mary Cooper. We got who? Tanya Pickney. In the flame. Alice all Britain in the flame. Look at Brenda yes. Goodwin is in here in the flame. Look, look, look. Emma Jones over on the YouTube side. Okay, thank you for that. And, and, and Patty Cooper. Pa yeah, yeah, Pat in, in the flame. The one and only Mary. She's in Mary's on both of them. She's on the YouTube side and the Facebook side. She says she ain't missing none of it. I ain't mad she, at her. She doesn't. She doesn't miss a thing either. I'm telling you, she really does. I love it. Look at Nancy Daniels, Aretha Wakes, and yeah. Dorothy Burns are uh, on fire on Flip It Friday. Mm -hmm. Amen. We'll take you a shot. Of, put yeah, we got, of words. course, you know, we got Kelly, Kelly Alexander. Is Kelly Alexander in the flame? Yeah, oh, okay. you know, she okay. up in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> with, some, with some eyes, if you don't call her her name. That, that's right. We also have Lamar Beal. In the flame. Yes. Cynthia Colleen Hill. Kilbrew, yes. Yes, yes, yeah. Mother Kilbrew in the flame. Hill Song, Hillary, Shalom, Flamers, Flamey. Look, she don't say family. She said Flamey. I yeah, love Hillary. it. Yeah, Flamely, yeah, yes. Yeah, Flamely. Look, look. In the flame. Thank God for you, Tanya Pickney in here. I'm going to tell you, these names are coming up so fast. Uh, Francis Grady in the flame. Go go ahead, go ahead, Doc. Help me out. Go oh on. my go goodness, on. I know. And and it's scrolling so fast. Emma right. Jones. Who else do we have? Okay, you don't say Emma three times. I'm gonna help then, you. Well, okay. then, let's talk about. Let's talk to Emma. Emma, she she jumping on on our spirit. Look, at least on mine. Look. <laughs> that's, hey, that's good. That's good psychology. That's right. That's you right. Jumping on your spirit. Hey, that's yes. that's agreement. She's making right sure there. she's in my she's making sure she's in my attention. So hello, hello, Emma. If there's anything that you would like some attention brought to, please put it in the chat room because obviously wow. I'm gonna see it. Oh All wow, right? that's good. That's good. <laughs> James Willis. I like that. James Willis in the flame. I'm 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 sorry, James. James got flipping Friday out there. Francis Grady in the flame. I think we got Cynthia Mills. Yeah. Donald, yeah, you, oh, I'm sorry, Mother Colleen. You got, you got my boy Donald. Your husband is there with you. Donald, one of my trusted, faithful men, that morning star in the flame. Yes. Donald, I, I call that name. My Joyce Moses. Happy birthday to who? Joyce, it's not your birthday. Is it? Happy birthday. Joyce, happy birthday. Joyce, whose who birthday is it? It says Cynthia. Cynthia. Okay, happy, happy birthday, birthday Cynthia. Cynthia. Okay, All right, Cynthia, happy flame. birthday. But you know what? 
You know what, Shannon yeah. T on the YouTube side. I was about to say, we got to now. We have to call it Shannon T now yeah. because now. later it will be something else. Uh, Shannon Barnes. She's getting ready yes. to marry Tiller Tiller today. Yes. Shannon, I need yes. you to put, put the information in there because I know it's going to be a virtual ceremony. And I think you sent it to me on something, Shannon. I couldn't find it. But Shannon T is getting married today. So everybody say congratulations to Shannon T and yes. Tiller today. I become Shannon Barnes. I sure hope I got that last name right because I don't want to be saying somebody else's name. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the best I can. As my mother in law would say, she always asked her how she's doing. She said, the best I can. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Happy Create on Purpose Day, sis. God bless you with many, many more. Okay, Jamina, thank you for helping me out in that area. Jacqueline gonna shy ya flip that hat, Dr. Walls. That's what Jacqueline Slater <laughs> said about the hat. Did you see that? <laughs> Come on, y'all go ahead and share. I want to continue to bring the joy of what it means to continue to live each and every day of our lives to celebrate life. I like what she put there. She said, <laughs> shy ya flip That's that right. hat, Dr. Walls. That's Come on, right. That's Cheryl right. Wall. Flip it up. Here we go. Cheryl, Cheryl, give me the. Okay, there you go. Flip <laughs> it. Flip it. Flip that hat on Friday. <laughs> Lord is good. Yes, he is. <laughs> Kelly Madonna is in this flame. Thank God for each and every one. Like classy mm -hmm. Washington in here. They're speaking. Uh, Emma said hello, Doctor Walls. Okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> what it is, I'm going too slow in the comments. So what it is, I'm well, saying. Let, let me say this too. Um, somebody ahead. said for she asked for Shannon T to put her cash app. So okay. for people who would like to bless her as the, she's getting ready to enter into this union. So right. Shannon, if you can give your cash app, I'll copy it over onto the YouTube Facebook. side, uh, onto the Facebook side. Right, Excuse right. Me. Yes. So Shannon, I hope you heard that uh, somebody request your cash app. But, you know, for those who want to bless you, and that's good. That's what life is mm -hmm. all about. You know, really, just, just being a blessing to somebody, Doc. What do you think yeah, so? Yeah, yeah really I do. Good. I, I do. love it when we bless because it's in our hearts. When we give yeah. because it's from the heart. You know, I'm not giving to get something. You get mm -hmm. it? I'm mm -hmm. giving because I love to be a blessing to someone. And when we have mm -hmm. that attitude, we reap the benefit of God saying, I love a cheerful giver. Mm -hmm. and, and truly, truly that. So, mm -hmm. so Shannon T, we need you to put your cash out um, and we will make sure we get that to the Facebook side. Most of the folks in our Facebook side of it. All right. Let me see here, man. Y'all are coming hard with the comments. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Here, glory to God. Thank you for breaking news. <laughs> <Talking about Shannon. laughs> Shannon T, yep, she's getting married tonight at yes. 7 o'clock. I think it's 7, yes. right? On the 8th at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Eight, the number for new beginning. Seven, the number for completion. Two numbers mm -hmm. together, baby. That prophetic word, that's for rest. And to mm -hmm. God be the glory. Praise God. Dr. P.K. Roberts in here. She said the prophet and the prop the prophet and the prophetess she called you today. But we we're gonna uh -huh. let her she's a psychologist. <laughs> Give her the prophetic yes. stuff off. I'm popping it today with the cap and the hat. Tell <laughs> her in the flames. Praise God on high. Well, Dr. Walls, uh, All right. a lot has been just, going on. A but lot has. I just want to say I put Shannon T's, I put Shannon T's information, uh, Cash App information in the chat room. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. You want to make sure we bless again you and Taylor Shannon T. It's just so mm -hmm. good to be connect. And we encourage uh, we just encourage you to continue to love each other. If there ever was a time to be hooked up with someone that really truly loves you and mm -hmm. honor you. I'm just telling y'all from a man perspective and, and honor you for the woman that, you know, the Lord put you on earth to be. It is now. It is so Amen. special. Amen. Amen. That, that you sh the person that that person you should be connected with, you know. Yeah. For life. OK. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. spoke to your life, the circle of prayer. Let me say this. Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for a time to share with the people of God. We are so grateful. <laughs> We're so grateful that we can express the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. We thank you for healing, motivation. We thank you for information and inspiration. And at the end of the day, we will forever give you all the honor and the glory. Thank you for your keeping power, Lord. Thank you for protection. But more than anything, we're just grateful that you are God, God all by yourself, and you Lord over our lives and keep us focused on what you have for us by faith. 
It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Doc, Amen. You know, the prayer was real practical and I did. I it, did. It, it failed me, huh? I did. I really did. And you know what? And I think it's important. You know, Emma, as you know, she's on my she's on my she's spotlight too. today. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I did. She said she just wants to be able to encourage people to trust God in this life process. Mm -hmm. And I would say that's exactly what we're talking about right now. As you pray a practical prayer, this is what we're doing. We're showing how God is practical. God doesn't have to be so I don't understand who he is or something that's only accessible to certain people with certain titles that you can show how God works in your life. You can talk about how God works in your life from the simplest ways to the miraculous ways. Yeah. And this encourages people to then be able to look for God and recognize God in the way that God moves in their life. Because just like my relationship with Pastor McCarter is different than someone else's relationship, it doesn't mean that we don't have a relationship. It doesn't mean that my relationship is better or worse than it it just means that it's different and God moves with each person differently. He has a unique relationship with each of us and that's the practicality of it. Wow. And I, and I love the way you say that the practicality of it, because a lot of times we make it seem like we got to do a lot to have this divine connection with God. When really he sent Jesus Christ who put us back in right standing with God and he wants us to walk in his righteousness not our righteousness, which simply means righteousness. Righteousness just simply means in right standing with God. And mm -hmm. Jesus said that, who is the word of God. Mm -hmm. So we study the word, we apply the word. I ask God every day to allow me to keep the word simple so people can almost go, you yeah. know what? I can take hold of what you're saying. Yeah. You know, and and, and we need that today. We really do. Let yeah. me do this yeah. right now. I see, I see my main man. Big Daddy Soul. Can you say that one time with me, Dr. Ward? That's right. Big Daddy. Come on, give it to me. Soul. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> it's in the flame of God's will forever. I like what you put there. Big Daddy Soul. My main man, mm -hmm. retired principal, uh, trusted trustee there at Morningstar. Uh, uh, um, a miracle also. You know, he yeah. had colon cancer and Okay. And, and, and still going strong in his yeah. 70s. And uh, I love nice. it when he's tapped into here. Nice. But let, let me go back and look at some more more of the comments. Uh, so you, you're taking the hat off? Okay. Let me tell you that. That hat hot. I'm flipping it. <laughs> well, wait, wait a minute. Now, you're taking the hat off. <laughs> look, look, you flip. <laughs> so is the hat hot or are you having a hot flash? Ooh, well, no, it's hot. Wait, look. I look, the and, the flame, and the flame is over my head. So oh, okay. I'm just saying. You see that? Wanna, okay. You see, you got the flame over me. Look, oh, so, I got that. Okay. You see that? You see that? Okay, so I'm good. just saying, I good had to. It, it's hot. It's ready yeah, to come yeah. out. So but I got to take what? it off. I love it. When you said that, what I heard was you said the flame is over my head, and mm -hmm. you know what? You all, that's a word for us right now. Mm -hmm. The flame is not just in us, but the flame yeah. is over our head. Yeah. And and yeah. on the other day, I prayed about God having His hand on our head, and to me, that's mm -hmm. the presence of God. Yes. So I, I I love that right there, and I said that yeah. word hot flash. You're too young for that. My wife, <laughs> she's gonna get me. I, you know, <laughs> the hot hot flash is not a word to use around here. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Don't come in and get me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep some bass in my voice. Amen. Hey, y'all, Mary Hart do good like medicine. It is flip flip it Friday, and we believe that the Lord is stirring everybody up. In God's hot spot, it's, it mm -hmm. is the day with the, the prophet and the psychologist. And I mm -hmm. love it when she's up here because we just want to turn her loose. Wait a minute. James said, hey, Bishop, I just want to let you know I woke up feeling great. Did 30 squats already and I have no COVID symptoms because James is in quarantine with COVID. Come oh, on. OK. Uh, All listen, right. Listen. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We will shake it out. I yeah. want that, James. It's all yeah. right there. Listen, yes. and I'm still testing positive for Christ. Thanks for your prayers. Yeah, we all have been praying. Also, the hashtags you all put in there for prayer. Listen, I believe as we speak again and you put people's names up there, the Lord is already moving because this mm -hmm. is what the hotspot is for, for mm -hmm. to see divine supernatural things happen. We didn't got to work. We just believe. And when I read the scripture today about day 153, which means tribe of believers. 
Yes. Today is one five three in the hot spot. Yeah. I'm gonna get that in because Dr. Wall and I get to talking and I'll be rushing this thing at the end. <laughs> one fifty three <laughs> means tribes of believers. Tribe mm -hmm. of believers. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. put hashtag I'm in the tribe. Mm. Doctor, we got a tribe of believers up here. What, mm. what, what do you mind when you're gonna say tribe of believers? What do you what, what's you, you know? The first thing you know, I'm always breaking things down into its smallest essence. So I, I look at the word tribe and I think about what is a tribe. And so when we're talking about a tribe, we're talking about a group, we're talking about a clan, we're talking about generations of people with certain beliefs and ways of doing things. And so a tribe of believers, a group of people, a clan of people who've come together with a similar mindset and are moving forward to do work or to just exist. And so that's what goes through my mind. And I like the fact you said a group of people coming together. So pretty much you're saying we are a tribe of believers right here. Mm -hmm. And God's hotspot. Yep. 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 Go ahead. They show up every day, uh -huh. right? For 153 days. Woo, <laughs> And do now when you come together like that from the work that you do, we come together mm -hmm. as a tribe. You say 153 days. Uh, are we building relationships? Are there special yeah. things in the dynamic of the relationship? Yeah. The tribe? What yeah. are some of the things that are happening? Yeah. You know, you, you look at the relationships that are building and I, and I would love for people just to take a moment and think about who have you increased your communication with over the past 153 days? Oh, that's good. Wow. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, because even, you know, all jokes and plugs aside, mm -hmm. you know, Natasha and I have been in relationships since 2005, 2006, but we have interacted more as I've been promoting her expressive lips .com okay. and being in here. But it was from being in here that that reignited our relationship. So we have to look at that. So what has happened? Kelly and I, we have a more interactive relationship now. And so I think about those things who, and there's people who I've met in this tribe who would not have been a part of my tribe had it not been for you being the leader and Miss Marilyn being the leader to organize, to listen yeah. to the direction that you were given and move this as you have your army, your desert storm hat on, you know, move this group forward. So a tribe has various components, right? You have your leaders, you have your supporters, you have, I mean, you can talk from a military mindset around a tribe and a, and a creation of a tribe and a healthy tribe. We can also call that community as well. Okay. Okay. So go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm I'm just listening to you. Um, especially from a military perspective, everybody brings gifts to the tribes. Also, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're gifts that everybody brings, and we respect each person's gift or weaponry. I put it that way in the military. That's right. And 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 and, and encouraging the people to make sure they exercise the gift you have, help us to walk in much victory, mm -hmm. especially in the military when we go to war. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. We. We're in war each and every day of our lives. The Bible says we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, mm -hmm. against spiritual wickedness in high places, which is a mind game. It's a mind mm -hmm. battle. So mm -hmm. each and every day of our lives, we're in a war. But when we come together in our relationships, it's iron shopping and shop, iron shopping and iron. Yes. Something about me loving the relationships we're building, but also see your value. Yes. You know. Yes. Not your weaknesses, but your strengths and your values. Right. And, and, you know, I choose not to anybody who works with me, whether it's, you know, with therapy, or I also do leadership coaching, life coaching, organizational development, as I was telling you, I was doing some strategic planning this morning with the university, mm -hmm. is that I don't use the word weakness. I instead use the phrase areas of growth. Oh, and that's good. Look, wait, wait, y'all. Everybody put hashtag areas of growth. That is so good. You don't use weakness. Mm -mm. You use areas of growth. I like yes. that. I include that in yes. my repertoire. Go ahead. Go and, ahead. and the reason why is because when we hear weakness, a lot of times people will take that as a characteristic. 
-hmm. as something that they cannot strengthen. As mm -hmm. opposed to areas of growth, sometimes there's things that I haven't used yet. I haven't had to use it. So I don't think it's fair necessarily to call it weak when I haven't had a chance to even use it or see, am I strong in this area? But if oh. I say an area of growth, then I recognize that I have the ability to strengthen it over time and eventually it can become a strength. So, so, so pretty much what you're saying to me is <laughs> I don't really have weaknesses. I'm just growing. <laughs> It's a mindset. Oh, oh, oh. I, I just got there a ride. Oh, yeah. But literally, <laughs> really, that's pretty much yes. what you're saying. It's yes. what we've been taught. You're growing. You're growing. What you think is a weakness is growth. And that's I right. think that's a word right there, Dr. Walls. For all of us, mm -hmm. we are growing. Your weakness. Yes. Look, yeah, matter of fact, I, I speak. I want you to agree with me right now. Your weakness days are over. You mm -hmm. are in a cycle of growth each and every year, each and every day of your life, the rest of your life, based on what you're telling me right there, yeah. which really lines up with, with work. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. We're always constantly growing, right? Life brings us events. For mm -hmm. instance, what took place on Wednesday. For some of us, we've never experienced that before. For some of our elders, they did experience this before in the 50s and the 60s and so forth. So for when we experience life events, we get to see what we're equipped with. Right. We we are a toolbox, so to speak. We're a bag of supplies and we get to see what we're equipped with by the way in which we respond and react to the situation. Then when we are in the situation and if the tools that we have are not sufficient, then we have to either make our tools. We have to borrow some tools. And when I say borrow, it means we turn to people and ask them, what are they equipped with, which is helping them be successful in a life situation like this. Mm -hmm. We then ask that person to either teach us how to use that tool mm -hmm. that's role playing and things like that. Or we watch somebody and we see that they're able to navigate a life situation well, and then we imitate them. So we're inspired by it. All right. So we're learning how to move through this thing called life. The scripture gives us, the Bible gives us countless people to turn to and say, well, how did Samson deal with a woman who didn't mean him no good? <laughs> <laughs> And why did but, he stay in that situation? I would love to do therapy with Samson. Um, but why did you're he not going to pick on my boy Samson, now, okay? <laughs> Let me speak for Samson. You, you may tell you what was really going on with my tell you. Ask me. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, we have we. There's so much life that happens at us, and mm. we are all not equipped with the same tools. Which mm. is why the tribe is so important, because some people have tools that they can teach us how to utilize. They have tools that they can teach us how to incorporate and at what times that they need to be incorporated. If I'm only walking around with a hammer and I need a screwdriver, yeah, I can use those two little things on the back sometimes, but the rest of the time I just may be out of luck until I turn to you and you say, you know, there's actually a screwdriver here or you can use this butter knife. Right. You know what I mean? Like you can... There. That's good. That's good. <laughs> we have to learn how we have to learn how to turn to our tribe. We have to learn how to depend on our tribe. We have to learn how to ask for help. But this is what I'm saying as far as areas of growth. It's not until we enter life circumstances that we recognize where we still need to grow. Stop and it's right not there, yes. You said it's not until and I hate breaking you up but you it's know, all you, right you're it's going. all right it's all good it's not until we enter into life circumstances yes is that what was that other part you said that we recognize where we still need to grow wow wow so you're saying don't 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 fight the circumstances no just grow yes <laughs> it's part They're of here the to show problem. us Right. Wow, it's, wow. I mean, so it's like school. Again, if we go back to school and there's some philosophers that say life is school, 
right? Mm -hmm. So when you think about it, a pop quiz, when teachers gave pop quizzes, sometimes they did them to be mean. They did. Sometimes they did them to see what do you know? What's your baseline mm -hmm. in this area? And so then therefore the teacher then takes that information sure. and then creates lessons to help you grow in that area. So if we look at God as the master teacher and he is bringing life events to us yeah. as we enter into those life events, he's seeing where we still need to grow. Where are we competent and where do we still need to grow? Oh, that is whew, that's so good. You know, I like something you said. You say if we see God as the master teacher. Right. And really, he is the master teacher. Jesus yeah. was the master teacher. He was called he was called rabbi, which is a yes. teacher. Yeah. Yes. But then he sent back the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us. And he said he shall teach, bring into remembrance all things. So God even has his spirit in us. But the thing is, we got to spend time in his word. You know, yes, we I was spending time with the Lord this morning. It was so sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was it wasn't deep. You know, I was just up early and I'm just sitting there and, and I'm just reading and I'm like, wow, you know, God, mm -hmm. this is what it's all about right here. Yeah. And, yeah. and, 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 and there are times I'm with them that it's not like that. But on today mm -hmm. this morning, it was like there was a focus in me that was saying, you know what? This is some good quality time with God right here. The only thing yes. I was doing was just, re just reading the scripture. I wasn't yes. asking for anything and it's OK to ask. Yes. But I yes. was just enjoying that what I was feeling. And that's that presence of God inside. Mm. Of and you know what? This is the peace that I'm talking about. There are mm -hmm. moments where there's mm -hmm. a peace where you go, this is not, th this peace right here can't come from anything else but God. That's right. Those that that's believe right. in And keep in that's mind, right. today is 153 and it's the yes. day for the tribe of believers for those that be believe. That's, that's key. Because right. we can that's believe right. in a lot of things, that's but we right. got to believe in the master teacher. Yes. Yes, look, exactly. Let's do this real quick. Let's go of back course. and look at a couple of comments because people of put some good things uh, based on things that you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like I saw something Charlene put. Charlene Gray said the hot spot has increased our spiritual growth as mm -hmm. well as mental and physical and emotional growth. Amen. And you get that? That's and that's good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that, Charlene. Yes. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, Kelly Madonna, thank you for getting Kevin on the phone. You say he was at the hospital. And mm -hmm. the fact that you got him on the phone, he and his mom are there with him. I know as he's continuing to battle with uh, cancer, but thank you. That's what the tribe, the hotspot is all about. Mm -hmm. the connection. There was a mm -hmm. divine connection there. And I do believe that the Lord has strengthened Kevin even today. Mm -hmm. so I did mm -hmm. see that comment. I wanted to get that. Um, Terrence said uh, our growth and, and stretching comes in our areas of discomfort. Yeah. Broken. And so, yeah. And let me say this, you know, that we think about growing pain. So mm -hmm. for those of you who have teenagers, uh, preteens and teenagers, if you remember yours, some people experience growing pains. I know my younger brother, he used to have pains in his knees and in his feet as mm -hmm. he was growing. And so when we're growing, sometimes we do experience pain and discomfort. Some people don't. I don't remember having those types of pains. And so, but I did have marks that happened because I grew six inches in a summer. So I ended up with wow. stretch marks. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So mm -hmm. I ended up with stretch marks because part of me wasn't ready to grow that quickly, but it still happened anyway. All right. And so- But you, I, but, but you couldn't stop the growth. I couldn't stop. Now, that's what I heard. You got it. You yeah, said you know, grew six but, inches now. Yeah. And I think a lot of times we, we think we could stop the growth. We have no control mm -hmm. over it. <laughs> Just go with the flow. That's <laughs> yeah. right. That's Just right. Go, go here. You like you looking at yeah. something. Yeah. Here. Yeah. There were there, a couple things came to mind. And sometimes when we're growing so quickly, and I can't remember if I shared this story before, um, sometimes it makes other people uncomfortable and it causes a disruption in the relationship. And I know when I was growing back in 1998, I remember it clearly, and I was having a very uh, intense spiritual growth cycle. Mm -hmm. And I remember a longstanding friend of mine said to me, he said, you're growing so quickly, it's making me uncomfortable. And I said, but if I don't grow, it will make me uncomfortable. Hmm. Wow. 
Okay. And so yeah. it caused a shift in mm -hmm. our relationship. And so you have to make that you, you, you recognize that. And it's important that we talked about that. And so he had to deal with the discomfort that he was dealing with, but I would not shrink myself. Mm -hmm. I was not going to take myself out of the garden that God had placed me in, in order to grow smaller or slower to Ooh. make him comfortable. You see, I love that. You went that. back to Genesis. You said you would not take yourself out of the garden that God had placed you in. You got it. Right. And I think that's what happened with Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. They made a decision that took them out of that place that God placed them in their relationship with him. You're going to make me throw this tambourine at the screen. And I'm going to throw mine back at you. But look, <laughs> <laughs> because the garden really is that relationship that God has positioned us in, but mm -hmm. he wants our roots to grow deep. You know, yes. you just, just keep going deep. Yes. And then we could become fruitful and mm -hmm. we can share the fruit that's produced from the relationship that we have with God with other people. At the end of the day, that's what we're doing yes. here. Let, let, yes. let me get a couple more comments here. Yes. Um, that I, um, wow, y'all, I saw a couple one. If you saw one, you want to read Angel. Yeah. She said, Angel Grant. Hey, Angel. This is Lois Wilson's daughter. Okay. Angel, uh, they're both in here. This hotspot has built a spirit. This hotspot has built a spirit connection around the world. People have tapped in from state to state and other countries. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amen. we thank you. Yes, it's yes. very perceptive, but we we want you all to share these kind of things and release it in the atmosphere. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, James said, "I like that we all have an opportunity for improvement." He's talking about the growth. No weaknesses here. Only areas of growth. Okay. Yes. 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 Did you, did you, did you see the thing? Did, yeah. So, James, James was talking about old English. Don't throw that tambourine. Look, oh, so. see, James, <laughs> you, you, you know what? Joyce Moses, James about to replace you as old fertilizer. That's some mess. <laughs> you, James, you about to dethrone Joyce and Kelly Alexander. <laughs> and, and, and not just any tambourine, my broke tambourine. Okay. <laughs> Let's get it right. Look. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Look, y'all, you know. it's, it's Flip It Friday, and we believe that as we're speaking, God is flipping some things. I really believe that. I don't know how you yeah. came in here, but you just got flipped. Yeah. <laughs> you got flipped by tapping to the hot spot. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I think, you know, again, just even flipping it from a weakness to a growth mindset, right? And you just think about that, right? Weakness is a stunting, right? As opposed to a growth, which gives it an elevation quality to mm -hmm. it. Also, if you say weakness, there's a shame associated with it mm -hmm. or a guilt yeah. that I should be better than this. You can't just run by that, dog. I'm saying you, you pretty much said you say if I say weakness, there's a shame yes. attached to it. Yes. So you're saying if we say certain words, mm -hmm. they come with other words yes. or things attached to them. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Go ahead. Which is why I talk about pay attention to what's connected to it, right? In, sci in psychology, we talk about what the associations. And many times we forget to look at word associations. When we hear certain words, it automatically makes us think of another word. For instance, if I say bird, and I just want people just to type in, when I say bird, what bird do you think of? Oh, and let's cool. just take a moment and see what people put in there. Okay, and I'm, I'm in. Oh, go ahead, talk. Okay, in. so so we need to recognize what's associated. Now, as you're putting in what bird you think of, also put in what color do you think about. So already, I see eagle, I see cardinal. You know, the, it it makes it. We have work. We're connected with somebody. Put canary. Somebody put Robin. So see, this is why we have to slow down and really get in relationship with people. This is why we have to slow down and we have to assess our thoughts mm -hmm. because different things are connected to mm -hmm. it. So wow. if we take a word like weakness, mm -hmm. we start to think words like inferior. We start to think words like dumb. We start to think words like insufficient. Right. These are all diminishing words. These are not thriving words. There is a group of people who sees that as a challenge, 
that they can overcome. Right. But there are also those people who see it as a challenge or a mountain that they can't get over. And now, then they give up. Now, when you when you were talking about um, uh, words being connected to other words, Mm-hmm. Like the word weakness. I thought about something you said the other day. You talked about counterfeit words. And we said mm-hmm. it, we talked about it when you were in mm-hmm. a So you're saying those are like counterfeit words. Yeah. So would you, and depleting would, words. I would say that they're depleting words. Wait, Doc, we just got counterfeit. Now you can come I with know. depleting words. Well, oh, you that, know. So you, but it's good because yeah. in the beginning, from the prophetic perspective, in the beginning was the word. Yes. Yeah. So yes. why would we substitute the word with depleting mm. words, mm. Uh, mm. counterfeit words, you know? Mm. And the key to this, like in the book of Proverbs, um, the, if you read Proverbs, it said, my son, you know, uh, are here to my word. You got mm-hmm. it. But we'll put other words there. And I know it's a little yes. bit different than what you were saying, but, but I'm trying to, because you got these believers up here and I want to mm-hmm. get a little taste of that too, but you keep that mm-hmm. thing practical. Okay, but mm-hmm. go ahead, get the rest of that out. Go ahead. Yeah, go. but no, I think I think it's important, right? Because if you know the word is true, there, there are words that work and words that don't work. And so we have to be mindful of that. I need to take this call real quick, so I need you to grab the mic, Pastor McCarty. Okay, I got it. I like something that you have here. Jamina put, being uncomfortable is a sign of growing pains. If your foot was a size nine, but we still wearing a size seven, it would hurt. So that is so that is why uncomfortable is a sign of showing us that it's time to outgrow where we are so we can go where we've grown so we can go where we've grown into. Ooh, that's that's good, Jamina. I like that. I like that. So you're saying, Jamina, we're pretty much trying to stay in a, a size that we've outgrown. And even in our walk with God, even in our our ideas and our concept, our spiritual way of living, you saying we have outgrown that. You got it. We see you're trying to put on things that don't fit anymore. Are you back with us, Doc? You I'm back. I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. No, you know, I'm dealing hey. with construction. Look, but this so. God, hey, 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 this is this guy's hot spot. It's yeah. real deal here. We yeah. can answer telephone calls. <laughs> I, I even think I've taken a water break a couple of times. Y'all just yeah, yeah. We heard yeah. We yeah. Well, okay, let's, but look, <laughs> but look some of my, us remember. Look, Go okay, ahead. okay, okay, Doc. Okay, you terrorizing me. You terrorizing me before all these folks. Okay, <laughs> my daughter put here, um, and that's not a word you all terrorize. I just made that up. <laughs> Being, I don't know if you heard that, being uncomfortable is a sign of growing pains. It's in the mm-hmm. Facebook side. Mm-hmm. If your foot was a size nine, but was mm-hmm. still wearing a size seven, <laughs> it would <laughs> it would hurt. It's so true. that that is why uncomfortable is a sign of showing us that it's time to outgrow where we are so we can go where we've so we can go where we've grown into. Wow. What do you think? Yes. Yes, yes. I I love every piece of it. You know, I'm gonna shake all of it. Look, look, look there the broken part. There look, you go, look. James. That's just for you. Look, look, look. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> also, let me get this in. Uh, some of the birds you yes. were talking about, you were doing yes. that exercise. Just said, yes. um, what bird do you think of? I put eagle. Mm-hmm. Somebody's got peacock here. Uh, somebody put a dove. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kel Alexander said, I've never seen no red eagle. You're special. Oh, somebody <laughs> put that up there, Red Eagle. Y'all got jokes, man. Okay, look. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Angel said, accept your growth. It's, this is good. This is good. Maggie, when I was a child, mm-hmm. I used to sing. The, Maggie said when she was a child, I used to sing to the bluebirds. That's interesting, Maggie. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's what mm-hmm. they you know. when, when Now, if you were in, if somebody was in counseling with you, Yes. And like Maggie just put there and you were talking with her and she said, well, mm-hmm. when I was a child, I used to sing to the bluebirds. What would you say? Mm-hmm. To I would ask her, does she still sing? Oh, and I would ask her and I would ask her, what did she sing? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Flip it fried. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
because there's some things that we did as a child that we don't do anymore. And then mm -hmm. we would look at why aren't you doing those things anymore? So did they become a size seven to your size nine foot? Is it something mm -hmm. that you outgrew or is it something that someone told you to put down? Is it something that you still love to do and you've incorporated and allowed it to grow with you? So we would look at that. And then what are the blue birds in your life now that you sing to? Ooh, that is so insightful. What are the bluebirds in your life? Now, Maggie, did you get that? The psychologist said, what are the bluebirds in your life now that you sing to? I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. So mm -hmm. pretty much means that she uh, saw the bluebirds as being something special. Yeah. It gave her a yeah. sense of peace for her to sing to the yeah. bluebirds. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Uh, Jemena, you got to fit it into your schedule. I see people jumping on the comment that you made, Jemena. Uh, you've earned your day in the hot spot. We need to talk. That's about right. That, okay? I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good. Let me see. Yeah. Olivia Redder put here, Pastor CJ always says, work the word and the word will work for you. That is true. I can't believe you remember that. I haven't said it in a long time, but that's good. She said, work the word and the word will work for you. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the absolute truth. I, again, James repeated what you had here again. What are the bluebirds in your life now that you're mm -hmm. wow, mm -hmm. wow, wow. That is mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Wow. Alice put Alice Albritton, Eric, uh, Alice Miracle Signs and Wonders Albritton. Mm -hmm. put, um, hummingbirds. You know, it's interesting, these different type of birds. Yeah. I wonder, does it have anything to do with how we dream and uh, how we do things? Uh as, I, as I'm looking at these birds that people are putting down, go ahead. Yeah, all of it. You know, it's in, it's interesting. Again, it's the idea that we have to pay attention to the connections, the images, the inputs that we've been given because our brain retains all of that. There is nothing that is actually forgotten. We may have difficulty recalling it but it is in our brain, all the sounds that we hear, even if we think we're not paying attention to something, it's going in, we're absorbing it. This is why we have to be careful with where we put ourselves. Mm -hmm. This is why we have to be careful with what we, what we surround ourselves with because we're constantly taking in information. All right, I gotta jump off for a minute, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, okay. Go ahead and handle that. Look, you all. This is day 153 in God's hotspot. We got the prophet and the psychologist today. I thank you all for sharing and, and just allowing what's pouring in the hotspot today to minister to you. Today, again, is day 153, Tribe of Believers. I need you, everybody, to put in there right now. Hashtag, I am a believer. Put it in there because I got something coming next with that. Put hashtag, I am a believer. We're in the tribe of believers, but I need you to put hashtag I am a believer. And I want you to put this for a reason. Yeah, because this tribe right here, this believing tribe, this hot spot, which is a, a, just a place for a tribe of believers. We believe that there's some things that are about to be stirred up. There's some things that's about to be manifest in a practical way because we are believers. There's something on that. I am a believer. Yeah, go ahead and put it in. Go ahead and put it in. I am a believer. I'm a believer. And as you're putting it there, we're seeing the manifestation of things. We're, we're seeing things shifting and changing in your thinking. Now, just think about all the things that we talked about already. You got this? And then you say, I'm a believer of things that I've seen here. Amen. Aretha said, I chose a dove because of what it represents, which is the advocate of peace. Amen. You got that? Mm -hmm. Feed on seeds and fruits. And, and let me jump on that real quick. Let me jump on that one, right? Ahead, because on how dove. we're influenced on the dove. Okay, go so ahead, she go said ahead. she chose the dove because of what it represents. Okay. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. And so there, that means that there were some other birds that went through her mind, but that's the one that she chose. Ooh, okay. Wow. All right. Wow. So we have to be mindful that there's other things that sometimes, and, and this is so critical because for those people who deal with anxiety, for those people who deal with depression, there are sometimes we have what are called automatic thoughts. And those automatic thoughts may not be the healthiest thoughts. Mm -hmm. And so we have to learn how to move past those thoughts and then choose the healthy and correct thoughts. Well, 
Okay. The ones that serve us best. I actually had a conversation with somebody yesterday. You talk about signs, miracles, and wonders, right? Mm -hmm. And things happening, happening quickly and jumping January after momentum, December. Uh, One of my mentees had called me the other day and she said that she wanted to leave her job. She didn't feel as though that was the best place for her to be anymore and so forth. And I asked, are you a hundred percent sure? And she said, yes. And we talked about the reasons why. And I said, fine. I said, now, you know, know my prayer. My conversation is prayer. And she said, yes, I do. I said, now I'm going to invoke this prayer. Are you sure that's what you want? She said, yes. I said, fine. And then I prayed. This was Monday. I prayed that God release her from that job and make it clear what he would have her to do and that she would be in obedience to that. And then business strategic wise, I asked her, what is she doing now? What does she want to do? She said she wanted to clean some houses, but she didn't want to do that full time. So we identified how many houses do you want? She said six. I said, fine. She said, Tuesday, Thursday, three houses each day. No problem. What do you want to do with your other amount of time? She said, I want to provide homeless sheltering and this, that and everything. I said, fine. She calls me yesterday, tears somewhat invoked. I said, what's wrong? She said, I just got laid off. <laughs> oh. oh, that story took a flip. I was... <laughs> and you're laughing? The, you, she got, okay. I sure am. I, I said, you to, go ahead, go I ahead. said, you just got laid off. I said, why are you crying? She said, I've never been laid off before. I said, but you asked me to pray for you the other day, didn't you? Mm-hmm. You said you wanted to leave that job, oh. didn't you? Wow. Yeah, yeah. She said, yeah. I said, so you're upset that the prayer didn't come back void? (laughs) (laughs) That's good. I said, I understand that thoughts are going in your head right now that you think you did something wrong, that you think that you're inadequate somewhere, that you're not competent. I said, those are all lies. Mm -hmm. And I need you not to focus on that voice. I need you to focus on the voice of God. I need you to focus on godly thoughts. I need you to focus on that. This is answered Uh, prayer. Uh Just, yeah. All of that. I said, because I also said to you on Monday that on Friday, I want you to take Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to think about what it is that you want to do. And you are going away Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and you got released on the 7th so that you can start your clear journey on the 8th. (laughs) Why are you crying? And why are they not tears of joy? Wow. And and after that, tell me, what, what does she do after you release those, oh, after you release could, those words? Right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're right. You, that's that was, it. You're right. That, that, you're right. You know, but I said, I and, and God gave you severance. See, because if you quit, uh-huh. you wouldn't have gotten a severance deal. Ooh. You wouldn't have been able to apply for unemployment. So not only did God release you, but released you with provisions. Look, J.J. Hannah in the YouTube there said she just got free. All right. <laughs> you got, but you know That's what one of my girls. Yes. Wait, OK. Is J.J. is one of you. OK. okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Have I met J.J.? I've heard you talk. You, about ha- you have it. You we've talked okay. about it. It's one of my sister friends in Houston, but, Texas. But listen now. But what I heard from the prophetic perspective, you said she got a severance. Mm-hmm. She got unemployment. Mm-hmm. To me, God gave her grace for the next season yes. in life. You get it? Yes. It's just the yes. way we look at it, Doc. You pretty much are saying, you say, hey, look, God's grace has kept you, but yes. you made it practical. And that's what I want people to know when it comes to the word of God. It is so simple when we make it practical. Right. Because it depends on, right. look, depending on who she was talking to and what words were being used, she mm-hmm. she could be totally devastated. Somebody that went, well, I can't believe they did that to you. You know what I'm talking about, Doc? Mm-hmm. And exactly. I prayed for you. But, baby, it's going right. to be all right. I prayed right. for you. No, you gave her practical things to hold on to from a mental capacity. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you think on these things, which is right. in the book of Philippians. What if, whatever right. things are lovely, true and honest, just, if they're being the virtue, be, if they're being the praise, think on these things. That's right. That's That's that's, right. And that's that piece of what God is doing for you. 
Mm -hmm. This is the flip it piece because you can look at it from a perspective of this happened to me devastation, Mm -hmm. or you can look at it from the perspective. God has done this for me for a reason. Oh, you just flipped that. I'm that. Oh, that was a divine flip right there. I bet you. Oh, put the hat on. Come on. Put the hat on. Jacqueline Slater. This one is for you. Okay. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. (laughs) I bet you can't say that twice. What you just said. You yes, you 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 have to flip it instead of looking at it as if it's happening to you negative stance. Look at it what God is doing for you. Mm. God is releasing you. That's like being mad that He took off your seven shoe because your toes was crunched up, and now you got hammer toe because you got on the two small shoes. <laughs> you mean you? <laughs> <laughs> I got a hammer toe. Why? Because your <laughs> shoes too small. You know what I got from that, though, Doc? And you say that. I just heard the Lord say that when this is day 153 uh, is number for the tribe of believers, Mm -hmm. but our thinking is too small. Our God, your mercy. Listen, let me do this. I'm going to need a drum set when this is all said and done. Your favorite verse. The Lord said, do exceedingly above all you can ask or think. The message Bible. You get it? Yes. Yes. He should do exceedingly above all it, all you can ask or think in your wildest dreams at yes. the end of the day. Yes. So man, that that I, yes, it, we we we're going somewhere. Let, look, it, Jamina put something here real quick. She said, "I'm you say? singing like a cardinal, and singing like a cardinal, singing like a red cardinal, uh-huh. and scoring like a bold eagle." All Ooh, right, now that's, that's a profound statement, right there. Yes, yes, but yes. make me think, Jamina, you spent some time with God last night. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you must see today. You saved today, Jamina. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, uh, Olivia has said, you know, and this is why what, you, what you she said, be careful what you pray for. Ooh, and okay. and and you do, and that's okay. why I am specific. When people ask me to pray, I, what is it that you want me to pray for? Because I already know how my word goes. I know that God listens to me. I trust it, and I believe what's going to come forth. So you have to be mindful. Yes. Did you just look me in the face? I, your whole face. Okay. <laughs> that's not. And say you. Based on what Olivia said, be careful about what you pray about. And you said yes. you know where your word goes. Oh, yeah. You didn't even hesitate. You like, hey, listen, I when yeah. I pray, I know there's gonna be oh, I know. Answer. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, in yeah. Other, there's no there's no question. So no, where you say when I pray, when you pray for someone, you're not praying to impress them. No, you're praying because you know this is the confidence that you have in the Lord that we serve. Yes, yeah. pretty much. Okay. Now go ahead, go ahead. And I and I know how quickly God works in my life. I mean, JJ Hannah, she can she can tell you stories from back in the in the 90s. There used to be question that was like, does cat have God's direct line? Because as soon as it leaves her mouth, it goes up and it comes back down. Uh, uh, I gotta pull it out. You li- listen. <laughs> Did you hear what she just said? Based on her friend JJ Hannah's in here, um, in, in Houston, Texas, right? You said Texas? Yes. Yes, yes. And she said, because of the way Dr. Walls would pray and her confidence, and this is day 153 tribe of believers, which means she believed that God would answer her prayer. Mm-hmm. And what was the last thing you said about that? The last part. Right? That they asked me to do, they, it was like, does cat, does cat have God's direct, direct line? line. Look, put hashtag direct line. We got, mm-hmm. we can't let that just run by you all. Get it. In the old church, the people used to sing, Jesus is on the main line. <laughs> Tell him what you want. Hey, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Look, she won't just so <laughs> she have a direct line also. She had a main line. If you want That's right. power, tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Okay, anyway, I hey that's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I felt something on that, you all. <laughs> So you, you got a direct line to God. Look, that's and, right. And a line that cannot be interrupted. You know why? Cannot be. Let me tell you why. Because God is wireless. Even Hello. though he's wireless now, God has yes. the internet, which was his race that's right. relationship. And there is no interference. See, Doc, you got me stirred up. I'm not doing Go for it. it. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> <He> never, 
that's why when you prayed, you said there's no interference in my prayer, Dr. Walls. None. When you prayed, you said, I know who I'm praying to. I yes. know who I serve. And look, and he has a time for manifestation. God Almighty on high. Baby, I just felt a flipping Friday, jump in January on our way to flash February. And God just spoke to me and said, March will be miracle March. Woo! I just got it. He just spoke that to me. Oh God, I think. Look, I don't miss so many comments. Doc. Let we get, we'll get off the day. Look. Woo, Lord have mercy. D direct yeah. line. You can hashtag direct line. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Go so on, I, stir it up. You know, I'm going to activate it. Go ahead. What did you say? Give it to him. I said, I'm going to stir it up. Give it to him. I'm no, an no, activator. I'm, poke, I'm poking the, the bear. <laughs> From the direct line, he is the main line. Look, matter of fact, prayer is that line. To God, yes. it really is. Yeah, it really is. If we yes. think about it from the perspective that you're talking about, you say, "Yeah, I got a direct line." <laughs> Don't get it twisted. She said yes. it with an attitude. Yeah, I need yes. you to just take a deep breath if you can and say, "I got a direct line." <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't have to ask anybody else. <laughs> I don't have to. Nobody pick up else. <laughs> Matter right. of fact, there is no phone when I talk to God. <laughs> right. You get it. Right. Right. There's no busy signal. There's no down phone. No. Right. Direct line. Right. I'm not blocked. There ain't no blocker. Oh, oh, oh come on. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> You're getting hot. That hat getting hot, listen, ain't it? Listen, <laughs> I, I, listen I got to do this. I got to do this because I'll be up here talking to you for to, uh, uh, 30 minutes over. I'm not doing it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 Come on, you all. Look, I, and I love what you all are putting That's here. That's right. The line Jump is never January. busy, Alice said. Alice said the line is never busy. Just oh, like mind, we said mind, the mind. other day, right? God has us on his mind all the time. Yes, Lord. Go ahead. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. trying to read some comments. Keep talking. I'm yes, trying. yes. Then, Direct mind. Go they ahead. talking to each other. Here. Jesus on the main line. Tell them what you want. Okay, Angel, you know we used to sing that in church. Come on now. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Lord mm -hmm. have mercy. Yeah, we have confidence that we we have confidence that when we ask, you got that right, Joyce Moses. I'm just going back, Brenda Terrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Direct line. Look, Maga put direct mind. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The direct mind is a direct mind. Amen. That's right. I, I felt some of my spirit on that miracle march. Amen. Yes. Yes. Direct I line, no interference. You got That's that right, right Lena. That's right. Well, let me do this, Doc, because I want I, I want you to catch what I'm going to read now. Okay, I'm ready. Listen, everybody, come on. I want y'all hanging up with us now. Let me see what uh 12:57. Three minutes. Oh, anyway, it's 12 <laughs> <to> 7. <laughs> this is day 153 in God's high spot now. And it's this number means tribe, tribe of believers. Here's the verse God had me to read. I want y'all to catch this. It's in Mark the 11th chapter, verse 22. <laughs> James should in there, but I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the amplified version. It's the amplified version. Thank you, James. James, on it's already in there. Jesus replied, "I have faith in God constantly. I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up, thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, that's you, Dr. Walls." Look, in God look, does not doubt in his heart. What does that mean? In God's unlimited power. Oh, my Jesus. But believe, there it is, tribal believer. But believe that what he asks is going to take place. It will be done for him, watch this, in accordance with God's will. Not my will, God's will. For this reason, I'm telling you, whatever things you ask in prayer in accordance with God's will. That's asking in prayer. Believe with confident trust that you have received them and they will be given to you. Whenever you stand in prayer, if you have anything against anyone, forgive them, drop the issue, let it go, so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you for your transgressions and wrongdoing mm -hmm. against him and others. Watch this. Mm -hmm. But if you do not forgive, Neither will your father forgive you in heaven mm -hmm. your transgressions. Amen. You got that. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. there's a lot that I read there, but I want you all to see this is day 153. 
And this is the number for tribe of believers. And pretty much what they said right there, if we believe, what are you believing in? In That's God's right. unlimited power. Yes. That's a whole nother ball game right there. Yes. When yes. you know what you believe in, you don't have a problem believing in right. it. Go at ahead. all. Go ahead. At all. You know, and, and this is the thing. And I think about like when my father was in, in hospice and we were praying for God's will to be done. Right. And for my father to be healed, I believe that God is going to heal him. And although he transitioned from this earth, I still believe that he's healed. See, however, God chooses to heal him, whether it's heal him and that he stays in this physical presence or heal him on the quote unquote other side. I believe that God heals him. Period. How it looks to us. That's really none of my business. I pray and God, you do you. And I trust that whatever you do, and I believe that whatever you do is the best thing to be done, yeah. period. And it's in the street, they say point blank, period. Point, That's it. Point blank, period. <laughs> my granddaughter, Tiana says that too, period. That's what my daughter told me. <laughs> but look, George, and, and I like what you said, whether it's on this side or the other side, it's God's will. It God doesn't matter. It's more. done. It's done. Right. We just, and you know what they did? Joyce Moses, she uh, caught, what do you call it? Catch, caught catch and carry. carry. Catch, catch and carry. carry. She yes. caught the verse. Thank you. And she said, believe in God's unlimited power. That pretty much sums up everything that I read mm -hmm. right there. Just believe mm -hmm. in God's unlimited power. Yes. And to God be the glory. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's, that's so good. Uh, yes. Let me see. Dr. Walls, Dr. Walls speak. His ways are not like always, uh, Brenda, right. Brenda Terrell said that. Okay. Yes. Natalie yes. Shepard, welcome in the house. Welcome in the house. Mm -hmm. Let mm -hmm. it will be done. Look, period. You got that, Cheryl. Yeah, yeah, Cheryl. Right. I know Cheryl will have it. I know she, she Cheryl knows, says it anyway. I've, I've heard her say that too. I know she does. <laughs> period. Everybody, period. <laughs> <laughs> now, when the period is put there, don't that mean that's it? That's it. And okay. it's, it's the end. It's the end. It's right. done. It's done. So, but notice something they had in this verse. It said, "Now, if you have not forgiven some, forgiven someone, they said, forgive them, let it go." Yes. So, in other words, when we are unforgiving, there is an interference in our belief. But let me tell you why. why what, what, what this verse is really saying? If we don't let things go and the prayer doesn't get answered when we think it should be answered, mm -hmm. it sets us up for a greater offense. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, mm -hmm. "Let it go." You get it? Let it go. You don't, yes. you don't want anything. Let, just let it go. It's worth it. And the times mm -hmm. we're living in now, just period. Let it go. Mm, 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 mm. Right. But believe that what he says is going to take place, it will be done for him in accordance to God's will. Amen. Yes. And that's what yes. you do. Mm -hmm. Let me run this to you also by your Dr. Walls. There's go another ahead. verse, uh, Jesus in Mark, the ninth chapter. I didn't sing you this one, James. Jesus, the Mark, the ninth chapter, verse 23 said, what do you mean if I can? Jesus asked, anything is possible if a person believe. You got yes. It? Yes, this man, what do you mean? Can you help my son? It was a story about this man and his mm -hmm. son that was mm -hmm. possessed by the devil. The devil mm -hmm. was throwing him boy in the fire and the water. And he said, Jesus, mm -hmm. help me if you can. And Jesus said, what do you mean if I can? Right. Jesus right. asked, well, here's what Jesus answered. Or Jesus asked, anything is possible if a person believe. Dr. Walls. Right. Now, this is from the mouth of Jesus. Yes. Anything is possible if a person believe. Now, I right. just read Mark the 11th chapter, verse 22 mm -hmm. through 26. And, mm -hmm. and pretty much Jesus is talking about belief then. So if you speak to these mountains, which are situations, circumstances, circumstances, thoughts, these are all mountains in our lives. I know it's a whole mm -hmm. different thing. I get you all the mountains. Amen. But mm -hmm. they're mountains. Jesus said, hey, guess what? You can speak to the mountain and that thought and that mm -hmm. mountain can go. But don't mm -hmm. have any doubt in your heart. Well, pastor, the doubt is there. It can be there, but you don't have to keep it in your heart. Your heart. Right. That's why right. I say if you offended with someone, hey, when you're praying, you let that thing go. And just right. trust God. You got that? Right. Go, go right. Go. Go yeah. I, and I'm, I'm going to do like you do me. Let, let's run that back. 
as far as the mountains, mm -hmm. you know, many times people are thinking concrete, thinking Mount Everest, Mount Kilimanjaro. You're thinking physical structure mountains and you can go there as well. But also symbolically, what are the mountains in your life that are keeping you from getting to the promised land, keeping you from getting to where God has for you. And those are the things that you need to identify. So when pastor says, you know, the situations in your life, the thoughts in your life, the feelings in your life, mm -hmm. those are the mountains that many times feel insurmountable. Mm -hmm. And those are what you are praying to be removed. When we talked about remove and release, what are the mountains that you're holding and hugging onto that you need to let go of? What are the mountains that need to disintegrate? What are the mountains that need to become foothills instead of mountains? Because you're mm -hmm. giving it too much power. You're giving it too much attention. See, these are the things that we can let go of. These are the things that need to decrease and diminish in size. And that can be of importance and that can be of time given and attention given to it. Now, Dr. Walls, psychologist yes. Yes. that was a whole lot in what you just broke down from a scripture perspective in this one verse right here saying mm -hmm. speaking to the mountains but you said something you said um what are the mountains in your life that's keeping you from getting to the promised land mm -hmm. you know and we know the promises of god are yes and amen so there mm -hmm. are promises in our lives that we've allowed mountains the thing that you're talking about Yes. It's keeping us from experiencing promises that are already finished. Pretty yes. much what you're saying. Yes. So the yes. problem is us. And then you said we need to turn our mountains into foothills. Yes. Now that's good there. Yes. So in other words, the mountain can be there, just turn it into a foothill. It's all about how you perceive it. So what's right? a foothill? Because what's foothill? because to it's one person, you, it's all about how you perceive it, right? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Because to one person a mountain is something very tall, right? Uh, uh, okay, let me do this perspective. Go ahead. We drive around and we see mansions, right? They're these huge houses. But when you get in an airplane, they don't look so big anymore. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, you're looking up to yeah. them. And from That's another good. perspective, you're looking down on them and the size decreases. So many times we have to change our position. So we talk about pivoting. We have to change the way in which we're looking at a circumstance. Mm -hmm. If we look at it as a mountain that we can never get past, yes. We have to change the way we're looking at the circumstance. Dr. Yes. You can't just run by that. Come on uh, now. Uh, look, <laughs> <my man. laughs> well, <go ahead. laughs> Listen, that's a word right there. We need to grab yeah. that. You get it? Yeah. Catch that and carry that. Wow. Yeah. Change the way we look at the circumstance. Yes. Yes. So for instance, let me give this because I see anxiety. Um, Joyce Moses wrote in there, mountains removed from your life, hatred, anxiety, unrest. Mm -hmm. Right. My and assistant and I, we talk about anxiety. Mm -hmm. And so it activates our nerve system. If we were to look at anxiety as not being debilitating, but look at anxiety as our body is responding actively wow. to something that this is something that we need to take heed to, that we need to dissect more, that we need to see what activates us about this situation. It increases our self-awareness. If we were to look at fear as a pivotal moment in our life, that if we have to change the way in which we are seeing things, then that will change the way in which we approach the situation wow, wow, wow. that will change the tools that we pull out of our toolboxes. All right. Listen, see, I want to key in on toolbox. 
Yes. Go for it. See, that's a whole nut. No, no, I'm not doing. I'll be up here another hour if I did. That. You get that. It's, just, it's just, it's good. It, I, it's so, it's so much. But look, but stop. But watch, watch. We, we stay here. Stay right. Stay right. Can, yes. Can, yes. Can, yes. Can you yes. Stay right I can give you. Let me tell you no, something. No, I have no, left no. the whole day open for you. No, you know, I don't play with you. <laughs> I understand. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Listen. But this is so good, and, you, and really, you're amplifying this verse. You're making the verse practical, and yes. that's why I think the Lord have have us to do the the, the prophet and the psychologist, because you're really operating in the gift that God has given you, where people are going, you know what? I can do this thing. Mm -hmm. You get, I can do this thing mm -hmm. called honoring God and serving God. All the stuff yes. in the world is going on. It's just life. I just need to look at the perspective and shift yes. some things. But yes. I still got to get back to that making your mountain a foothill. Making your mountain a foothill. What I heard you saying is we need to start this, start stepping on mountains. Yes. Instead of trying to climb mountains. You but, but, but here you go. Throwing the camera reads at you again. But yes. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, but, but. <laughs> really? That's good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, somebody yeah. just needed. The, look, the prophet Martin Lawrence said, get the stepping. You need to, <laughs> we, we just need to start stepping on start some stepping. mountains. That's right. Quit. Size it up. Size oh, it, size. oh, that's good. Size it up. Right? Size so, it up. So what does it mean to size it up now? What do you mean? It means, it, it means, right, you got to look at it. You take a look at all of the angles on it, as many as you can. This is what you get your tribe. I'm on this side. What do you see from your perspective? Right. From a military mind, what are we looking for? We're looking for the weak point. We're looking for the access. Yeah, you're in my world. Point. Now. Okay. Go right. Ahead. So even from a psychologist standpoint, when somebody comes in for therapy, I'm looking at where they're giving me access to them mm -hmm. oh. so that we can Ooh. start to okay. break it down. So from a mountain standpoint, even if we're going into implode, right, we have to get access to the inside. We have mm -hmm. to identify the best point to lay the explosion so that we can implode and break it down as quickly and as easily and as simply as possible. <laughs> and you hit my word, simple. Yes. Lord let us walk in simplicity. Yes. It's not that complicated. Let's, yes. I, 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 I see you looking uh, at comments and you look yeah, like Olivia said, don't have to go up the rough side. You sure don't. Here's the thing. How many times are we walking? Look, now y'all get me activated. Go, How go many ahead, times are we climbing up the mountain and all we had to do was look to the other side and get on the escalator? <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> you cannot say that twice. You can't say it twice. <laughs> say it one more time. <laughs> You go over there climbing rocks, dirty sweat. You got all of that going on, and all you had to do was walk to the other side, and there was an escalator, and somebody somebody standing there with with a drink for you, so you can just go up with ease, right? Standing there with something to refresh you, something to refresh you. All you had to do was wait. All you had to do was wait a little bit longer. All you had to do just wait a little bit longer. You so busy rushing that you didn't wait. And if you had just waited, they would have just opened the door to the elevator Oh my, that you my, didn't my, know were there. You know what? When I heard you say that, though, that reminded me of the scripture when Jesus says, come boldly to the throne room of grace. Yes. It's there. It's wide open. You get Wide it? open. <laughs> Don't make this thing complicated. Just come. No. You know what I think, Doc? Folk, listen. You, you, listen to the, you listen to the wrong folks. You listen to somebody that you think is an expert when the Lord literally has divinely made you to just keep growing, I think, Dr. Walls, at the end of the day. That's it. A, lot, a lot of that, when I talk to people, I'm like, where do you get that information from? Hello. I Somebody that you question. have decided to be an expert in your life. <laughs> get mm -hmm. it? They're not the expert. <laughs> get mm -hmm. somebody that's got some experience. I don't need an right. expert. I need some experience in my life. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with expertise now. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of folks that are experts but don't have an, ex an experience in a situation. Experience brings, I think, much joy and much peace. What do you think, Doc? Yeah, I agree. I agree. And we do. We have to. And this is part of that honest inventory. We have to check people. So there are. And, and when I say check them, I'm, I'm not being hood at the moment. I might get there, but I'm not. <laughs> go, go, go. I'm saying check. 
I gave you one check. That's all. <laughs> I'm saying check the data. Check mm -hmm. to see how good they are as far as. So, for instance, I had somebody say to me, my grandmother prophesied over my life. And, and so I said, OK, I said, well, has she ever done that before? No disrespect to your grandma. You know, has she ever done that before? She said, yeah. I said, well, how accurate was she? And she was like, come to think of it, ain't none of her stuff ever come through, come true. Yeah, well, um, but that was my grandma. That, yeah, but that's your grandma. I get it. But that's your grandma. That may not be her gift in your life. That may be her gift in somebody else's life. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> so Wow. Wow. We got to take but, honest inventory. But look, honest inventory and the way you put that, you pretty much said, hey, your grandmother got a gift, but that may not be the gift in your life from her. That's pretty much what you said. That right. may not be, but right. I'm not knocking her gift is what you said. I'm not that, knocking it. That, that's not it. No. <laughs> it must be something else. Right. Wow. You just ain't got no data for it. And and so this is, and, and again, if we take it practically, you have, for instance, there are some teachers in this room right now. There are people who are teachers, but Lord have difficulty Lord, teaching their own. Right. But they may have difficulty teaching their own children in the mm. classroom. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that they're not a great teacher. It just, for whatever reason, relationship dynamic, that's not the dynamic between the two of them. And I've had my mother, who is a master teacher in mm -hmm. reading as well as in math, I've had her students say to me, I wish you could know your mother as a teacher the way I do, mm -hmm. because I know her as a mother. It's a different relationship there. I've had the chance to experience her as a teacher, but it's different. And so we have to understand that sometimes people have different roles in our life. That's good. Look, let me get this also, Doc, and, and everybody's grabbing this. Y'all got to go back and look at this. The psychologist is in the house. Man, this is so awesome. And I'm I'm grateful for this dialogue, both the spiritual side and the practical side. Look, look, um, Jacqueline put here, I, I love to see Doc. I'll pay to see a good <laughs> Dr. Wall. I don't think you want that, Jacqueline. She from <laughs> look, Jacqueline, she from Philly. <laughs> she lives in Philadelphia. She just got educated. <laughs> I'ma stop. Let me stop. That's awful. Look. Praise God, oh, hi, look. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> but listen, this has been day 153 in God's yes. high spot. Yes. And that number means tribe of true believers. And it's, this has been a believing, mm -hmm. blessed time. And I, I, I man, I, I, just such great stuff that you have Amen. released in this high spot today. And just Amen. turn the fire up and you have turned it out. Um, <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Both of you said something. I comment on we. I'm about to flip this down the hallway. Hey, man, look, we're, we're still in Flip It Friday. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow is um, uh, Spread It. Um, oh, God. Help Super me out Spread here. It Saturday. Super Spread It Super Saturday. Spread it. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm trying to think of uh, we, we, we're in jumping January. We're on our way yes. to last February. And God just spoke to me while we were here. Miracle March. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. March. Oh, that's we're that's good right it. there. Yeah, look, I want to do this, Doc, just to shift before we go. Of course. I was watching um, you know, I was watching the television. I know and, and some folks will say, Well, you know, you probably shouldn't watch the news, but I watch the news, but mm -hmm. I don't watch it because it doesn't change me, it doesn't mm -hmm. make all this negative stuff be in me. Mm -hmm. It I, I, I hear the Lord and then I want to pray about things and I ask God give give me things for people. As folks are dealing with the times we're in now, and this is just a different time. What we're doing this mm -hmm. hospital is definitely something that we need. Mm -hmm. And they said in Los Angeles that it was hard for the the um, the morticians to find urns to hold the ashes of the victims they create that they're cremating. Mm. And I thought, and the Lord said, mm. you hear that? I'm we're talking ashes. Mm. They got so many people dying in mm. that area right now. And only by the grace of God, the whole United States of America, Doc. I know mm -hmm. we're in here, we're talking, we're mm -hmm. being encouraging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I want folks mm -hmm. to know there's still something going on in the world. Yeah. And it's only by God's grace. And I want to take this time um, just with ministering me to tell you value mm -hmm. and appreciate life and every minute that you're up here with yeah. us. 
every minute that we're in this high spot. Yeah. It's, I never thought I would be living in a time where they said it's hard to find urns to hold the ashes yeah. for cremated yeah. victims yeah. In, in Los Angeles. And here's the other yeah. thing. Let me talk. Then they yeah. said nearly 6% of the COVID-19, they said nearly 6% of COVID-19 is spread by people that have no symptoms. Mm -hmm. This is a whole nother area. Are you hearing mm -hmm. me? 60% mm -hmm. of they have no symptoms. Mm -hmm. This is something else they mm -hmm. found out. And mm -hmm. then in the area in California, they said they're running out of oxygen. I, mm -hmm. I mean, wait a minute. What? Mm -hmm. I thought God give us air. Hello. They said oxygen. They're they're, they're running out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I mm -hmm. said I'm gonna take time on the hot spot and say this today. And this tribe of believers, we're gonna believe God and we're gonna do what we're supposed to do. Yes. There's something going on in the world today. We didn't get a chance to talk about the political unrest that mm -hmm. foolishness that we witnessed the other day. Mm -hmm. you get it? But in mm -hmm. the middle of all that, we serve and honor God. Mm -hmm. you get it? That mm -hmm. knows things before we say it. We serve a God that knows what's going to go on in this world. Mm -hmm. But it's moments like this in this high spot. We're keeping things simple. Nobody's try not trying to be religiously deep. We want mm -hmm. to be practical. We want to have joy. But we are all in a process and we all are growing right now in humanity. Mm -hmm. We all are growing, you all. Yeah. But I said, got to be more careful. When you don't have enough urn for people that are dying, you're talking mm -hmm. about ashes. Mm -hmm. That's a whole nother world, Doc. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you think? It is. Look, so, so several things are stirred up in my belly. Um, number one, I, I must acknowledge and stop me at any point you have to, right? Desert, you have on your st Desert Storm veteran cap, which means that you have been through the storm, you have been in the desert, and that you know how to navigate your way through good go ahead okay yeah. and so here in this hot spot as the tribal leader you're helping us navigate this way through so i'm going to say thank you and i'm going to encourage people to put hashtag thank you to you and thank god for you because god prepared you before this time so that you would be able to guide and lead us at this time. So I just want to take a moment and acknowledge that. Wow. I, okay. Because you've been wearing ha different hats all week, <laughs> but this is the one that came out today. And we are in the desert and we are in a storm. Desert is unfamiliar land, right? As you're talking about ashes. And we know a desert storm is a whole different type of storm. We used to rain, we used to snow, we used to wind, but many of us don't know anything about a desert storm. But you're a desert storm veteran. You do. Amen. Still there? I'm still here. You know, as you were saying that, and as we... I guess try to come in for a landing. I thought about when I was in Desert Storm and we had to go to certain places over there. And there was a couple of islands that were not in this main place where I was. But they had things, I always tell people that they had things over there that were already there for years. But it was there in case of a war. And, and I went there before Desert Storm started. I was in the country for two years. And we did a, a tour. I was showing this general all this stuff they had on this island. You could only get to this place by boat or by plane. Gave the, the general a tour of this place. And and I said, General, you know, when the war started, it was up me. It was us and the British, the British military also, as well as the American. But when the war started, all these things that were people, preposition that was in storage it came out and all of a sudden what looked like a desert and a barren land it didn't look like anymore mm -hmm. but the stuff was already there it just needed a reason to be taken out Go ahead. And, and we had to follow all the directions but everything we needed to make sure that we could conquer and be successful in the crisis mm -hmm. was already put in place and i believe mm -hmm. 
that that's what the Lord is doing this hot spot. I believe that that's what God is saying mm -hmm. to us right now. I got everything already put in place. It's already been pre-positioned. We just need to make mm -hmm. sure we carry out what we're supposed to do. Because God mm -hmm. said, I got what you need to make sure you can survive the war. That's right. We, we're in a war right now. But guess what? We got what we need to survive. So when I say comments like you all that they to you all that come from the news, I'm only saying that as guess what? We need to be aware what God's yes. got in place, what we need to do to continue right. to live. We made it to 2021. We mm -hmm. jumped into January and February is going to be a flash. And, and I know, yes. go ahead, go ahead. And, and now let me, so, that. so go now ahead. here's the next part that's firing up is you're absolutely right. So when we hear the scripture to get your oil lamp, get your oil for the lamp, you can give it to them right because you don't know when the bridegroom is coming and when he comes, the door will be locked and all of that. So get your stuff right. So what you're doing, this is the oil. When you're hearing the scripture about forgive who needs to be forgiven, get in right relationship, change your perspective. This is all the oil, all right, that you have to get in order before you get to the other side. This is the yeah, time yeah. to get it, to make those life changes because the world as we knew it is done. Yeah, We are in a whole yes. new yeah. world. Yeah. And I mean, that was Aladdin, right? A whole right. new world. We, we flying, that was new in the desert. Beginning. <laughs> new beginnings, right? <laughs> Right. It, yes. And, and they, they were flying on a carpet over over the desert. So and Pastor McCarter just told you there are things that are in place that will be revealed once they are activated. And we look at the time of Moses and what people were carrying with them, old behaviors that they carried with them through the desert. And they had opportunity. They were given manna. They were giving food for thought. They were giving new life. They were giving new ways of living and new ways of being. And for those who were able to adapt, adjust, be flexible, take into themselves, they were able to cross over. For those who were not, they stayed. And yeah. so we're giving you the oil. We're giving you what you need in order to move forward in what God has for you. You have to do your part. Just like the man who stayed by the water where the angels were rustling the healing waters and everybody was running into the water and getting yeah, healed. Yeah, yeah, As that yeah. man, why he go and whatever reason he gave excuse he gave on why he and somebody all he kept was jumping get up. In. So somebody, somebody kept jumping in before him yeah right and yeah. what did jesus say get up yeah take up your bed get take up your bed and go right go. you have to do an action james tells us faith without works is dead like i don't know if the man was waiting for the water from the splash or somebody else to land on him right i don't you got to do your part and so we're imparting in you the part that you have to do so that you can make it through the desert and you have a leader. Oh. That's all I got. Well, Dr. Walls, I, I, it's been great. I have taken you 27 minutes past one o'clock <laughs> <laughs> and y'all laugh at me, but it, it's good. Listen, you all in the hot spot, day 153. I'm hearing in my spirit. I cannot wait till we've had 365 days in here. It's going to be a major celebration. Mm -hmm. You need to write down that date. And um, I praise God for each and every one of you. The Lord is still doing, he's doing a lot. Uh, Valerie just texted me. Uh, Y'all know Valerie in our ministry in, here in Mississippi. She said her mother just passed away. Mm. Um, and her mother's been sick. So we want to keep Valerie. And Valerie, if you tapped in now. We got you you and the family in prayer, as well as Priscilla, grandmother, passed also a couple of days ago. And that's that transitioning to the other side by the grace of our God. And also, mm -hmm. again, uh, Shannon T, to mm -hmm. you and Tim, congratulations on your marriage tonight at 7 o'clock. I, I did, we, did she ever put in there where you, people can tap into that? I don't know, because um, I think it's going to be online on Facebook. I um, didn't see it over here. Shannon, if, Shannon T, if you're still there. And you want us to know that put it in um i thought she sent it to me but i i didn't see where it was put it in um 
the YouTube side and Dr. Walls will put it on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And I'm also yeah. going to put Shannon's cash app back over if anyone yeah. Yeah, one would more like time. to. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, Valerie. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Valerie Parker Galloway. And uh, most of the folks know Valerie in our ministry. So we are definitely praying. She loved her mother. Um, her mother's in another state. So we'll definitely be praying uh, for her. Mm-hmm. And for all y'all that put the hashtag for different people to be prayed for, know that this is really what the hot spot is all about. It's one of the reasons mm-hmm. is that we believe that miracle signs and wonders are happening as we speak. We want to mm-hmm. keep it plain. We want to keep it simple. We want to keep it joyful. You get it? And, and to all God be the glory. I think that, let me read one other thing though, Dr. Walls. Yes, go for it. I got Angel. Um, James texted me. I saw it in there and I'm glad I wanted to read this. Angel, Angel Grant said, um, yesterday I had a knot under my jaw that was swollen and seen by the naked eye. I began mm-hmm. to speak. I believe I, I believe I am, um, I believe I am healed. It got bigger all day and went to urgent care after work. The doctor diagnosed me with a swollen salivary gland and told me mm-hmm. what to do. I got home, anoint myself with oil, and prayed for a healing or whatever it was for and for it to be gone. This morning, there was no knot, so I am a believer in God and the power of prayer. Hashtag, I am a believer. I want to amen. share that testimony. That's awesome. Yes, amen. That, that, is, truly, that is truly awesome. Amen. Yes, yes. Shannon said that the link um, is too big for YouTube. Okay. Okay. Well, Shannon, I just want to make sure people knew that we're fine. We're just glad you shared it with us and we are happy. We're happy. We're happy for you all. Mm-hmm. Amen. Dr. PK said here, I'm speaking on grief in the next 30 minutes, two o'clock central. Um, let me see if you can do this for me, Dr. Walls. Yes. What you need the dial dial 716. 716 293 9707. 9707. And uh, the access code is 957677. Is that a hashtag? Give it to me, give it to me again. 957677. 957677. Is that right? Right, right. She said, I'm speaking on grief in the next 30 minutes on Facebook Live, Bishop Barber, Bobby Henderson, International Prayer Call. I just want to make sure that people know that. If you got time to join her on that, that's at, make sure I got it. Uh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Don't put that up there. That's not right. I didn't read that. Oh, right. It's too late. All right. Okay. This Give is it to me that. again. Yeah. yeah. This, she said, I'm speaking on, this is another one. I'm speaking on grief in the next 30 minutes on Facebook Live, Bishop Henderson International Prayer Call. Okay. Just put, put in a Bishop Henderson International Prayer Call. Just put that in there. Okay. And that's Dr. P.K. Roberts. Dr. P.K. is in our hotspot also. Disregard that, um, what I put up there. That That's what she does on, uh, on Monday mornings, I think it is, Dr. P.K. So that is in there. I'm sorry about that. I just read it wrong. Okay. Uh, speaking on grief with um bishop yeah right. yeah so if they go to bishop henderson uh bishop bobby henderson facebook page they can tap into it you know i'm kind of reading this on the spot so y'all obviously i know pretty much um yeah let's talk is he b o b b y or b o b b i e b o b b y okay yeah she'll be speaking okay. up there at um two o'clock all right okay and traveling grace for the wakes family aretha y'all travel safe wherever you're going i think i missed that thank you all for sharing and being so faithful we love each and every one of you keep it real family we are family (laughs) i got all my believers with me the prophetic (laughs) sled sister sled (laughs) out of philadelphia thank you very much out of philadelphia okay that's right (laughs) all right that's right i I love you I, I All love, right, I Patty LaBelle, you. we got him. We got okay. him. Hey, hey, okay. <laughs> you saying don't hate, don't hate, right? Jill Scott, I'm just saying, we got him. <laughs> that, that, that's the hood in her. That's that hood. That's that hood coming out. 
Amen. So, Dr. PK, if you put that there, we probably miss it. So y'all continue to help us out when we miss something that you won't share. All right. Well, it's been great, Dr. Right. Wall. Yes. Thank Dr. you Nelson. all. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless everyone. Be safe and stay strong. Okay. And in the words of the late, great, famous Bishop R.T. McCarter, my dad, can nobody do you like Jesus? All right. Thank you, Dr. Walls.